In this video, we're going to go through an introduction to Deneb and how you can use it to use custom visuals in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through the basics of how you can import it and use custom visuals. And we're also going to go through some of the great resources where you can get really creative templates that you can use. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Deneb is a custom visual that you can import into your Power BI reports that lets you use custom visuals using the JSON syntax. Vega and Vega Lights are the declarative languages that Deneb uses, and these give you a lot of ways that you can customize and visualize your charts into your reports. If you're not too familiar with JSON or intimidated with all of these terms like Vega, Vega Lights, or Deneb, don't worry so much because to get started, it doesn't actually take that much know-how. So let me show you. So as usual, let's start with a blank report here with some data that I've already imported. So it's the typical Northwind data set, which is a fictional company that sells grocery goods internationally. Just to go through quickly. So we have some data here, but in fact, what we just want to be able to visualize are a few things like, you know, how much we're ordering in certain months, which products or which categories of products sell the most. We're not going to go through in deeper detail because this is not really the focus of the video. So to start using Deneb, you first need to import this because it's a custom visual. So you're going to go through from the visual gallery down here. At the bottom, you will find the get more visuals. It will open up app source where you will search for Deneb. So this is the custom visual. As you can see, it's a declarative visualization in Power BI. You will see that it has a tick mark here, Power BI certified. This means that this visual is tested and verified by following the Power BI team's guidelines and required tests. And for you, it basically means that if the admin restricts access to custom visuals, it will only restrict unverified custom visuals. So this should be safe to use in sort of most use cases within organizations. So you have two options here. You can download the sample, which downloads a PBIX file, which you can open up and see the this custom visual in action in already kind of pre-built visuals. So you can see how it's how it's created and, and, and how it's built. But in our case, we're just going to simply add this custom visual into our report here. So once you hit add, just give it a few seconds and you will see this pop up. Hit OK. And now you will see this Deneb option available for you from the visual gallery. So what we're going to do is we're going to just select this to put a visual Deneb visual into our report page here. And as you can see, without anything, it will just give us some instructions to get started. The first few things that it's saying to us is to create a data set. So just bring in the data that we want into the values well here. So what we're going to do, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to bring in the sales measure that I've created, which is just a calculation by multiplying quantity and unit price. And then maybe I want to visualize them by category. So I'm just going to bring in these two values for now, but you can add more later if you want to. So the second thing is now to go and edit this then a visual. So we go to the more options and hit edit and it will open up this page. So here you have a few options for creating a new specification. So you have a few options here from Vega light to Vega, which uh, gives you some options to either create an empty one from scratch, or you can choose from one of these pre-built templates. As you can see, as I click one of them, it will give you a preview on the right hand side of how that visual will look like. And uh, it will give you some brief description of what that, that template is going to visualize. And at the bottom is where you will be able to map your data to this visual. The field section shows you, first of all, like some description of what this is, as well as what type of data that it requires. 
So for example, for category, it requires a text field to be mapped for it to show it in a kind of category scale. And we're just going to show a simple bar chart using Denim for now just to show you how it looks like. So the drop down next to it lets you choose from the list of values that you've imported at the beginning. So we put in category name and sales, if you remember. So that's why we have those selections here. But if you obviously have more visuals that you need or more values that you need, just bring them into the well and they will be here as an option. So we're going to choose category here. As you can see, it's also a text type column. So this should be OK to put in this field. And then the second one is a measure, which as you can see, we have the calculation that we want to visualize. And this one, it needs to be a measure or rather a numeric value. You can see the hash next to it. And our sales measure that we've created is exactly that. It's a numeric measure, which is the sales. So now that we've mapped the columns and our measures into this template, let's just hit create for now. If we go hit back to report, and there you go. So you've imported and created your first Deneb visual. And with all of this in mind, you're pretty much ready to go with Deneb. So there are a few things that you can go in deeper detail of, like writing your own JSON or customizing your JSON or even customizing your visual. So we're going to go through some of them so that you can understand where and how you can update them. So for example, in a typical visual, you would go to the properties pane of that visual to make some changes to, let's say, the colors of your bars or the names of your axis titles. But in this case with Deneb, because you import the templates using JSON, you need to update those properties in JSON. So if you go to the properties pane here, you will see that under the visual, you, while you have some options like, you know, the title, adding a title, and there are maybe like a few other options here. For simple things like changing the color of the bars or, you know, removing the grid lines, you won't be able to do that here. You need to do it in Deneb, so under the edit section. So let's go through and let me show you how that works. So if you hit the more options here and hit edit, it will open up this section here, which we skipped earlier, which just gives you a preview of the JSON file that drives this visualization. So this code on the left hand side, it's not too bad. It's, it's uh, the JSON that builds up this bar chart here. And the table here at the bottom shows you the visuals that make up, you know, what is being visualized on this bar chart. So for example, let's say we want to update the title of the axis here, the sales. We want to say this is product sales instead. So we're going to need to look for that section in our JSON here. So don't be intimidated with the JSON. Just think of it as having the attributes and properties of certain elements of your bar charts next to each other. So there's a lot of curly brackets, but the key thing to know is that, you know, whatever you're visualizing here in the bar chart, the customization elements will be on the JSON script. So for example, we want to update the sales title. So what all we need to do here is just look for sales. So there are a few sections here that refer to sales, but that's not what we need. We need something, this one. So it looks like is a title. This is the type of the attributes that needs to that updates the sales title here. And this is the value that we want to update. So if we want to update that to let's say product sales, I'm just going to make the change here on the JSON. And then we're going to hit the apply button here, which as you can see, updates that axis title into what we need. Let's have a look at some of the more creative templates that the community has created and how we can use it for ourselves. Carry Colosco is a good one that provides a great library of various Deneb templates that you can use. I actually featured her work a while back in a previous video, specifically around the SVG templates, which actually lets you also customize your visuals to a certain extent. So so if you want to learn more about SVG and how you can start using it to customize your visuals in your reports, go check out that previous video. So for now, we are in her website here. So we're going to be just make sure that we are in the Deneb template section and we can look for something that we can potentially try to visualize here. So to keep it simple, let's go through and let's try to use this one fixed with bar with leader lines. 
So one of the limitations of the bar charts in Power BI is that your axis labels always need to be on the left hand side and you can't customize it to be on top of the bars, for example, to keep the visual more compact. And there's no option for you to have, let's say, for example, your labels to be all fixed on the right hand side. So basically this visual won't typically be available, but now with Deneb, you have this ability to use it. So from this template, what we're going to do is is first of all, you will see this full list, long list of JSON. So all we need to do from here is copy. I'm going to just open Notepad, paste, and then we're just gonna simply save it. I'm gonna save it in my desktop. I'm just gonna name this column.json. Now we're gonna go back to our Power BI report here. You can probably just move this one. Let's create a new Dena visual. And uh, let's do the same thing. So category and sales, hit edit. And from here, we're going to say, instead of choosing from one of these pre-created templates here, we're going to import our own template. So select JSON templates here. We'll open up our file folder here. We're going to open up that one that we've just created. And here we go. So like the other templates here, we just need to make sure that we assign the uh, the fields to the data that we have so again we're going to choose category name for the page and then page view would be sales hit create and there we go as you can see it gives you the values the titles of those bars on top of the bars themselves and the leader lines which is actually really cool to have there we go so let's go back and try another one just just to show you kind of like what other ways that you can visualize this and what other examples of then visuals that are really, really useful. So one would be, I would say maybe this bubble histogram. So it gives you a sort of a way to see your data in a heat map type visual, and not just shows you where the peak points are, but it shows, shows you like an average histogram right next to it. So in a day, you will know on average, which one had the highest as well as which hour of that day are the busiest, but gives you a lot of details from just one visual. So I want to import this and try to use it for ourselves. But instead of day and hour, we might want to do, let's say month and day of week, because I don't think we have data on the actual hours themselves. So the same thing as before, we're just going to copy this one. I'm just going to make some space for our other visuals. Hit Deneb. Oh, actually, I need to open up and save this one. Desktop, I'm just going to name this one histogram.json. We're going to bring in sales. And we're going to bring in, I've already created some things here like month number and day of week. So this is what we want to show. So more options, hit edit, import from template, select JSON, and we'll select histogram from here. So the X axis, we'll just need to just play around with this, but the Y, X and Y axis, X axis, I believe needs to be maybe the month number. That's good. And then day of week, the Y axis. So let's see how this would look like. So here we go. So as you can see, it gives us which days in a week and in which months. The only thing from here, obviously, like before, is that you just need to make sure you customize it a little bit just because the templates come as they are. So if you wanted to update, for example, that the Y axis needs to be the day of week, we just need to look for that. So here the title, day of week, and then this one needs to be month. So if we hit apply, you will see that now it gets updated. There we go. Now that you know how to start using Deneb and using templates to start using custom visuals into your Power BI reports, let's go through a couple more great resources that you can use to even find more inspirations or use custom visuals using Deneb. The first one we already looked at is Carrie Colosco. As I mentioned, she has you know tons of these different visualizations that you can use for free, just copy and paste or even customize them for yourself. If you want to learn more about how to format or customize your own 
own JSONs. The next one that I found was someone called Taste. So he has a GitHub list of sort of various templates that you can use. What I found that was really interesting was this one around the calendar one which is actually a visual that we've never seen or I've never actually done before, but it would be pretty interesting to visualize. So if you want to start using his, you know, his JSON templates for Deneb, definitely go check out his list. Another one is a Power BI guy who actually has a really good YouTube channel as well. So I'll leave a link to his channel as well as Kerry Colosco's in the description box below. So you can follow the both of them. In his website, he has a ton of different templates that you can use as well. The one that really caught my attention was around the offset column chart, which I believe is the one, is it this one? Yeah. So the one that caught my attention is this one, the offset column chart with legend, which is sort of like the IBCS standards that shows you the actual versus plan side by side or on top of each other. Now I did cover a video recently showing how, you know, you can do an offset chart using just the, you know, the basic visuals in Power BI, which took a lot of customizations, but with this visual, actually that video would have been a lot shorter and a lot simpler had I known that I could use this template to visualize those offsets. And finally, here we have the Deneb templates repository collated by Power BI tips. It's a bunch of templates to choose from here. So you can start using them straight away. And that's really it for this video. I hope this was a good and simple introduction to you to get you started with Deneb and how you can start using templates to spice up your visualizations in your reports. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.